Okay, we're gonna make an awesome tomato soup in our Instant Pot. I love using the Instant Pot because it's really just quick and easy. It all goes in one thing and I can kind of like set it and forget it and do something else while, while the soup is cooking. Okay, so there's really just a few ingredients. I've got carrots, I've got one stalk of celery and one small onion. And it doesn't need to be cut up perfectly. I don't, I don't care because this is all gonna get blended in the soup. And I'm just gonna kind of cut little bit smaller pieces there, no big deal. The great thing about the Instant Pot is it just does. It makes quick work of anything that you're really doing. And the busier that I get, the more I'm like relying on the Instant Pot. I love the fact that I can come home at night and you know whip together something like this relatively quickly. So really, this is, has a few veggies in it. It's got a, uh, just a tiny bit of butter. It's got some tomatoes, a little tomato sauce, and a few spices and milk. That's it. And you'll have soup on the table. So how fun is that, right? Okay, so just again, I don't really care too much about my sizes. Just gonna cut this up a bit in kind of big chunks. Whoops. Celery going rogue. Okay. And just kind of cutting through here. I don't know. There's just something so comforting to me about a big bowl of soup. And really, this is so healthy. You know, it's much better than getting something out of a can and it just takes a few minutes to do. So let's get it going. Okay, so I've got the Instant Pot. It's already heating up. I've got it set to saute. And I'm just gonna add in, this is three tablespoons of unsalted butter. I really like unsalted when you're cooking because you can control the amount of salt that you're gonna put in. All right, so that's just gonna melt down just a little bit. Then we're gonna get our veggies going. I think when you see this completed, you're not gonna want canned soup again. I think. So veggies go, remember, so this is one small onion, one celery stalk, and two small carrots going in. And all I wanna do is soften them up just a little bit. Okay, so just a few minutes sauteed the veggies. It's already smelling so good in here. We already got the onions and the celery and the carrot going. I'm just gonna add in a little bit of liquid. So this is really important with your Instant Pot. I'll explain it in a minute. This is half a cup of chicken broth. I've got one can of whole tomatoes. I love these San Marzanos. They're a little bit more money than the regular ones, but honestly, they're so worth it. They're so sweet, big fan. And this is just eight ounces of just tomato sauce. Going in, gonna give such good flavor to this soup. And look at, like you know what you're putting in it, right? And the nice thing about making things at home too is you, you can buy a little bit more expensive ingredients to go in, because it makes a lot more. So I'm a big fan, okay. So now this is one tablespoon of sugar, half a teaspoon of black pepper, and then one teaspoon of kosher salt. Okay, going in, easy, easy. I'm gonna shut off, by the way, the saute function. Just gonna give everything a stir. That's simple. And then I'm gonna cover it up and we're gonna pressure cook for six minutes. That's it. And then I'll show you how we finish it. Let's get the cover on. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the Instant Pot, okay? It's a little bit hard doing it from this angle. Okay, so pressure cook, okay? And I think I'm gonna add six minutes, there we go. Okay, so now this is gonna seal, it's gonna lock in, and it's gonna take about 10 minutes to come up to pressure, and then it'll cook for six minutes, and then we're gonna do what's called a natural release. I hear a lot of people, some of my friends that have, they're like, I just don't like my Instant Pot, everything burns in it, or I get a burn notice. It's because there's not enough liquid. So I have an eight quart Instant Pot, which I'm a big fan of, even if you're just like, I mean, Eric, it's just the two of us. Of course, you know, we have the grandkids over and all that kind of stuff, but on a, just a nightly basis, there's the two of us, but I still cook for a lot because the great thing about that is it makes for great freezer meals, right? So we make, we make a big pot of whatever we're doing and you know, I don't want to eat the same thing, honestly, you know, the whole week. So we can put this in the freezer and then next week or two weeks down the line, we've got another meal. So I highly recommend if you're going to get an Instant Pot, if you're watching this and you don't have one yet, it's one of my favorite tools, but don't buy a small one, even for a single person, because you're going to want to have friends over, family, or you're going to want to stock up your freezer. All right, just a few minutes and we're going to have soup. Okay, so my timer just went off and I think I told you guys natural release. I really meant to say quick release. So what we're gonna do is, there's a button on the back of the Instant Pot. I'm just gonna press this down. This always makes our cats go crazy. They go, squish, 
scattering all over the house when this happens. So, gonna kind of push this down. Try to have a pointing away from your cabinets and things like that, because that steam can really cause damage to your wood and stuff like that. What we want to do is, all this pressure has got to get out of this pot for this to be safe to come off. It's not a big deal, but you just want to make sure your pin drops. And you'll hear it, and you'll see it. Once that does, we know it's safe, we know all the pressure is gone, and we can just twist off that lid. Okay, so I'm going to take the top off. All right. Oh, it smells so good. Okay. So everything is nice and soft. Now, that's the thing that's great about the pressure cooker. It, it just takes minutes to make something happen. Fantastic. I mean, you could totally do this on your stovetop, but this would take you probably about a good 45 minutes or so to get a good soup going. Okay, so now this is another great tool to have. This is an immersion blender. It's great because I don't need to transfer this to my regular blender and blend it up. If that's all you have, that's fine. It's just a little bit messier and it just takes a little bit more work. For me, at the end of the day, honestly, I want great food, but I want it to be quick and simple. And I think they're relatively inexpensive. So I'm just gonna blend this up so it's nice and smooth. Okay, so the soup is all blended. Honestly, it tastes good just like that, but we're gonna make it just a little bit creamy. So I put the um, Instant Pot on saute. This is four cups of whole milk going in. Ooh, that was a little messy. Oh, that's all right. Gotta have a little mess when you cook, right? So then all I'm gonna do is just gonna heat this through. So the milk has gone in. I'm gonna change it like that pretty kind of like light, almost pinkish orange color. And all I'm gonna do, honestly, is just warm up the milk into the soup. This will just take a few minutes and then we're gonna serve it. Okay, so I'm just gonna serve myself up some. It smells so good. Actually, I kind of cheated, I already tasted. It's really good. You always wanna taste before you serve it to your friends and family, right? To see if it needs a little bit of salt or something like that. So I'm just gonna give myself a little bit here. All right, I think that's enough. All right, I mean, look at that. If you make this for your family though, warning, they will not let you serve something from a can again. So I think that's a great thing. All right, it's going in, it's super hot. Yeah, oh yeah. You get the sweetness from the tomatoes, San Mazzano's. You want those on your shopping list, okay? This is so good. You could top it with some fresh basil, some sour cream, if you have that, whatever you like. Honestly, I like it just like that. Childhood memories, right? plain tomato soup. I don't need any of that fancy stuff. I am going to make a grilled cheese though to go with it, however. If you like this recipe, please try it. Let me know. Comment. Let me know how yours came out. Share with a friend. Subscribe. And don't forget to click that bell so you get notice for our next video. Enjoy!